Alright, let me tell you about the literal meme incarnate of a ship. The Fletcher class USS William D. Porter. If ships could eat paint chips, this one would. The actual moon moon of ships. It was Murphy's Law, the boat. First assignment was to escort the USS Iowa across the Atlantic. FDR and the US Secretary of State were on the Iowa, going to Algeria, en route to conferences in Cairo and Tehran. November 12, 1943, she departed Norfolk to rendezvous with the Iowa. While maneuvering astern, she raked her anchor across another Fletcher-class ship, ripping its lifeboats and railing off. Later met up with the Iowa and the escort fleet. November 13th, did it detonate? Of course it did, and a stone's throw away from the Iowa. This was under orders to maintain silence at all times. This sent all ships in formation into a, a panic, making them all take evasive action, thinking they were under U-boat attack. Not long after, a huge fucking wave hit the ship, flooding boiler number three and sending a crew member overboard causing them to fall out of line with the escort. November 14th, FDR requested that the Iowa run an anti-aircraft drill to show her capabilities. Iowa launched several balloons, some of which came near the William D. Porter, allowing her to attack them. The WDP, along with other escort ships, decided to run a torpedo drill by simulating a launch at the boat carrying the United States President. Now generally with these kind of drills, you remove the primer from these torpedoes. Launch tube one, launch tube two, launch tube three. <laughs> Lieutenant asked Captain Walter if he'd be given permission to fire a torpedo. Quoted, hell no, I, I what? Now keep in mind, they're under radio silence. There's a torpedo headed towards the president. What do you do? I know. Use lanterns and the signals. First try told the Iowa to look to their left. Second try told the Iowa that the WPD was in full reverse. Finally broke radio silence, the Iowa turned and avoided the torpedo. FDR was wheeled to the rail to watch the torpedo detonate in the wake of the ship, 3,000 yards back. The very large battleship, USS Iowa trained its main battery on the very small destroyer, USS William D. Porter, believing this was an assassination plot. This haul happened in within four minutes of time. WPD was ordered to Bermuda, and for the first time in history, an entire US Navy ship's crew was placed under arrest. Several officers were ordered to shore assignment. Torpedo men Lawton Dawson admitted to throwing the primer overboard to hide his involvement in the negligent launch. Sentenced to 14 years of hard labor, FDR saved his ass, saying it was a mistake. WDP sent to the North Pacific Theater, arrived in Dutch Harbor on December 29th, succeeded in launching a 5-inch shell into the front yard of a U.S. base commander, managed to shoot down a few Japanese planes, along with three American ones. Stint in the Philippines, mostly escort, shore bombardment, shooting down any planes that came within range, the works, went to Okinawa. Between the 25th of March and the 1st of April, provided anti-aircraft and anti-submarine operations to the ship's supporting invasion. Between April 1st and May 5th, expended 8,500 5-inch shells at shore targets and enemy aircraft. Managed to fire upon the USS Luce, damaging it on the 9th of June. June 10th, 1945, the US William D. Porter came into the sights of a D-3A kamikaze dive bomber. The plane missed last second, but the ordnance on board detonated right beneath the ship. Ensuing blast lifted the WDP out of the water, causing broken steam lines, lost power, and multiple fires. The crew managed to keep the ship afloat for three hours to no avail. After the crew was ordered to abandon ship, it sank 12 minutes later. Not a single crew member was lost. No fatal injuries. The USS William D. Porter received four battle stars.